The 65th Infantry Division was created in the summer of 1942 for coastal defense duty in the Low Countries. Every division in the German Army had a unique tactical symbol, which was painted on vehicles and road signs to assist in traffic control and identification. The division's commander, General Major Hans Bommers, had served in the artillery in both world wars before commanding the 65th. One of the first things he did was select a Kugelbaum, or ball tree, as the 65th Infantry's tactical sign. In January 1943, he left for the relatively safe post of field equipment inspector of the replacement army. Captured at war's end, he was released in 1947 and died peacefully in 1984. The division's second commander was Willy Ruprecht, a Bavarian infantry officer who began World War II commanding a regiment. He left the 65th in May after a five-month stay. Like his predecessor, he was probably not considered a great field commander. He took over one of the hapless Luftwaffe field divisions and moved on to command the Grafenwehr training area. In August 1943, the 65th Division welcomed General Major Gustav Heistermann von Zielberg as a new commander. He had joined his father's 1st Pomeranian Grenadier Regiment in the First World War and served in various capacities. He stayed in the military after the war and in 1936 transferred to the General Staff. His first combat command in World War II was an infantry regiment on the Eastern Front and he fought at Demyansk in early 1943. As he prepared to take the 65th to the Eastern Front, Italy capitulated and the decision was made to defend the Italian mainland with German soldiers. The 65th moved to La Spezia for coastal duty and after the Allied landings at Salerno and Calabria went into positions on the Sangro River. The division was considered too inexperienced to anchor the line on the Adriatic and traded places with the 1st Parachute Division, which defended the Moro River and Ortona. While the 65th Division was inexperienced, General von Zielberg had already faced the test of combat and put his own stamp on the division by changing the divisional sign from a Kugelbaum to the letter Z, the first letter of his own last name. As the 65th built positions, the Allies planned their strategy and decided they would push through the Germans' winter line, turn left and enter Rome before Christmas 1943. German plan was to hold out in the winter line until spring. The Allied plans were foiled by bad weather and stiff resistance. Ortona became known in the press as a little Stalingrad due to the ferocity of the fighting between the German paratroops and the 1st Canadian Division. To the west, the 65th Division saw action against British, Indian and New Zealand forces. Most campaign histories only refer to the 65th in passing and only to report that they had been wiped out on the Sangro. The division's first combat commander was one of the many casualties, losing an arm in an air raid. After a long recovery, he went to the Eastern Front, where he earned the Knight's Cross during Operation Bagration while commanding 28th Jaeger Division. Von Zielberg's history took a tragic turn after the July bomb plot. He was ordered to arrest his senior staff officer, who was implicated in the assassination attempt on Hitler. Von Zielberg instead told his trusted 1A to proceed of his own volition to Berlin to clear up what von Zielberg presumed was a misunderstanding. The officer instead deserted and surrendered to the Red Army. Von Zielberg received a nine-month prison sentence but was pardoned for his exemplary military service. He returned to the 28th Jaeger Division, but a short time later was summoned once more to Berlin. He was tried a second time under new suspicions and in February 1945 was shot by firing squad near the Olympic Stadium in Charlottenburg. The division had suffered its first direct enemy ground attack on 20 November 1943 and was soon pulling back to secondary positions in front of the winter line. The deputy commander of the 15th Panzer Grenadier Division took temporary command of the 65th. The 65th's first combat actions had been disastrous, losing their commander, suffering heavily by air and artillery attacks, and being roughly handled by Allied ground troops. As a result, the division became briefly known as the Avanti Division. Avanti, the Italian command to advance, was also ironic German army slang for retreat. On 1 December 1943, the 65th Division received a new commander. General Major Hans Helmuth Pfeiffer was just 49 years old. Like most German generals of the Second World War, Pfeiffer had served in the trenches of the First. After commanding a company of Hanoverian infantry until war's end, he left the military in 1922 for management of a transportation company and later went into publishing. In 1934, he rejoined the military as an infantry company commander and by 1939 was on staff of the Armed Forces High Command. 
He returned to the field army before the French campaign and led a battalion of the 185th Infantry Regiment. Decorated for his leadership, he took over the regiment and led it into Russia, where he earned the Knight's Cross and the German Cross in gold. In July 1943, he was promoted to General Mayor after a long recovery from wounds he suffered in Russia. In December 1943, he inherited a badly depleted division whose complement of conscripted ethnic Germans had seemed very willing to desert or surrender to the Allies. Pfeiffer set to work with what the divisional history called indomitable energy. He provided constant personal supervision, considered himself a military role model, and didn't concern himself with being popular. Pfeiffer proudly wore the infantry assault badge on his uniform, uncommon for a general officer, and earned early in the war by leading from the front. For the third time in the war, the 65th Division chose a new divisional insignia. Gone was the uninspiring Kugelbaum, and the reference to the aristocratic von Sielberg's last name. Under General Pfeiffer, the 65th now became the Hand Grenade Division. The battered Hand Grenade Division helped defend Orsonia from repeated attacks, and though the paratroopers pulled back from Ortona, the Winter Line held. The 65th was pulled out of the line in January 1944, reinforced, and reorganized as a three-regiment new-type division. The reconstituted division was thrown into the fighting at Anzio in February, where it helped reduce the Campo Leone salient and heavy close combat against British forces. Pfeiffer commanded elements of several formations, including the 65th Division, under the name Battle Group Pfeiffer. When the Southern Front was finally breached in the Leary Valley, the 65th withdrew to Rome, earning themselves and their commander a mention by name in the Daily Armed Forces report just two days before Rome fell. Pfeiffer's command of the Hand Grenade Division earned him the Oak Leaves to the Knight's Cross in September 1944, by which time the division was preparing to defend the Gothic Line. After a heroic defense near the Futa Pass and a long winter, the division was forced back to Bologna in the spring of 1945. The final Allied offensive drove the remaining Germans in Italy across the Po River, and small groups tried to reach the passes into Austria as organized resistance in Italy collapsed in the face of fearsome Allied firepower and growing partisan activity. General Major Pfeiffer, who had provided such steady leadership to the 65th Infantry Division, was killed on 22 April 1945, mere days before the official German surrender. He is buried in the German military cemetery in the Futa Pass. The hated Avanti nickname had become a thing of the past, and the Americans bestowed the moniker on the German 715th Infantry Division instead. Psychological warfare experts dropped pamphlets on the 715th, taunting them with images of a broken down cow, and asking if the division soldiers liked their new tactical insignia. As for the 65th, the division's self-published news sheet had been titled Die Hunt Granata, and after the war, surviving veterans took pride in their nickname. Mostly ignored by post-war accounts, historians nonetheless regarded the 65th Infantry Division as a competent formation, which had fought well under the sign of the hand grenade.